Hi, hi, welcome to Kodevo. This is episode 17 of 100 Days of Code and the question for today is called Find Triplets with Zero Sum. So let me just read the question first and we'll move on to the approach. So given an array ARR of n integers, check whether it contains a triplet that sums up to zero. So this is the question. Okay, so we are given an integer array, meaning that the array can have zero positive numbers and also negative numbers, right? And we are supposed to find a pair of not a pair we are supposed to find a triplet uh, means a combination of three numbers which on adding gives you sum as zero okay so that is the question and if you find one you are just supposed to return one and that is it you can end the loop you can end the function you can end the code there okay so that is the approach that, like that is the question and uh, we are going to use something called a three pointer approach for this uh, problem okay so before getting into that uh, i mean you could have uh, you would have already solved something called a two pointer approach we have solved some previous questions using that and uh, this is a slight uh, variation of that it's quite simple so first what you are going to do is that we are going to sort this array okay so let me just sort this, sort this array and uh, write another copy of this so uh, like what will be the sorted value we have minus 3 and then we'll have minus 1 we have 0 1 and 2 okay I hope this is the sorted array of that array minus 3 minus 1 0 1 and 2 now what you're going to do is that we are going to have three pointers okay the first one being I and let that point to the first element in the array the second one is going to be j and you're going to point that to the second element of the array or in general terms it will be i plus 1 always okay so j equals i plus 1 j is going to start from i plus 1 and the last variable last pointer variable is that uh, k last pointer variable is k okay so we have three of these pointing variables and we are going to have another variable called sum okay i am just going to use the sigma symbol for that okay so uh, we are having all these variables three pointing variables okay so what you are going to do is that you are first going to calculate the sum of the elements present at these three pointing variables okay so minus 3 minus 1 plus 2 right so minus 3 is where i is present at minus 1 is where j is present at and 2 is where k is present okay so when you add all these you end up with minus 2 right the, so the value of sum is minus 2 which is not what we want okay and you can see that so let me just put it here so you can see that minus 2 is less than 0 okay so minus 2 is less than 0 so what you're going to do is that you're going to make some changes to the indices or uh, the pointing variables so that the sum becomes uh, greater than our current sum okay so uh, in simple terms we are going to increment the value of j okay so j is currently pointing at minus 1 right so if we increment the value of j it will be pointing at 0 so why are we doing this we know this is a sorted array because we just sorted it right so when this is a sorted array if you move from left to right the values will be increasing that is the concept that we are using right so if you move from left to right the values will be increasing the sum is less than what you want so we are going to make change to one element in this triplet so that the sum is going to increase okay so now that we have increased the value of j the value of j uh, like the value that is currently uh, present at the index j is that 0 right so minus 3 plus 0 plus 2 and this adds up to minus 1 and not minus 2 right so previously we had minus 2 now we have minus 1 okay now we have minus 1 which is an increment which is an increment over that now we are closer to our desirable sum now still minus 1 is less than 0 so we are going to increase the value of j again now j plus plus will make it point to 1 okay and 
the value of uh, element that we are considering in the triplet is 1 so minus 3 plus 1 plus 2 and this gives you the sum as 0 okay so this gives you the sum as 0 0 is obviously equal to 0 and you can return true okay you can return true or you can return 1 okay meaning that you have solved the question you have solved this particular test case now if in case the value of sum is greater than 0 you are going to decrement the value of k okay so that is what uh, I, I wanted to tell right if the value is greater than uh, 0 you can decrement the value of k so that the triplet sum will be less than 0 so that is the approach now we will move to gigs for gigs and try to solve this now first we will sort this array and then we will move on to the nested loop and uh, to solve this question so to sort this array I am just going to use the default sort method and the arguments are array and array arr and arr plus 1 which is the starting and the ending uh, memory address of this array okay now inside this we are just going to have a for loop and it is going to run from i equal 0 to i less than n and this is the first pointing variable the second one is j right and it will start from i plus 1 so in j equals i plus 1 and the third one is k which is going to start from the last which will be n minus 1 so these are the three pointing variables now we are going to use the while loop to uh, do the nesting nest, nesting thing right so i is the primary variable that is given by the for loop and j and k are the secondary variables that we will use with while loop and the condition is that j less than k okay because when they meet it's fine we, we don't have to cross them right so j less than k is the condition and i'm going to create a variable called sum which will be sum of array of i and array of j and array of k right sum of all three variables if the value of sum is equal to 0 you can return 1 sorry too many disturbances okay so if the value of sum is equal to 0 you are just going to return 1 and if the value of sum is less than 0 you are going to increment the value of j okay because j is the variable at the left and since it is a sorted array if you want to increase the value you are moving to the right so you are incrementing the value of j and for the else condition you are just going to decrement the value of k because you are trying to decrease the value and uh, at the end of this loop you can just say return 0 because when it comes out of this loop it means that there is no uh, triplet that with uh, sum as 0 okay so that is the case now we will try to run this and see if it works so the code works perfectly fine and all test cases have passed so hope you understood this logic if you have any questions put them in the comments and i'll get back to you and uh, if you have already solved this post it on linkedin and uh, let me know okay thank you so much for watching see you on tomorrow's episode of 100 days of code bye for now